You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have another book review to share with you guys. But first, before I get far, too far into the book review, um, well, I have not done very well this week recording. I'm sorry. Um, I'll try to get some more books read and videos uploaded before, um, well, when you guys would want to see them, which is Tuesday and Wednesday as I have originally planned. So, um, you know that Thursday is not my upload or recording day, so I'm just trying to kind of make up. On to the book review. So, um, as you guys know, um, I have been doing the book reviews for um, a couple of series by Aaron Hunter. Um, the last one I did was The Warrior Cats, but now I'm doing Dawn of the Clans. And I just finished my third book. Um, it is called Warrior Dawn of the Clans, Book 3, The First Battle. And this has to do with the um, origin of the clans and here's what this one is about the rivalry between gray wing and clear sky has driven a bitter wedge between the four cats as thunder and gray wing struggle to find a peaceful path for the future tensions are growing what began as a misunderstanding between the two brothers has spread far and wide and now every mountain cat rogue and kitty pet in the forest will be forced to pick a side Dawn of the Clans number three, the first battle, also contains an exclusive bonus scene and a teaser to Dawn of the Clans for the Blazing Star. So this is um, about 350 pages. Um, I got done with it yesterday, but um, it was too late to record, so it was crazy. Um, so this is a good book. This is kind of where tensions run high, like the names, the synopsis suggests. Um, and it is, it is something to, there's something to be said for family, um, but even tensions can arise in families and make things interesting and get togethers, you know, kind of hard to deal with and awkward. Um, so this is geared toward the eight years old to 12 year old crowd and that would put them in third through seventh grade. Um, so, um, as I said before, and I'll say it again, um, even if you're not in the age range for the audience of the book, I think you can and should read this book. Um, if you like cats, if you like adventure, um, this would be the book for you. Um, honestly, it's it's really kind of cool, and it's a story about cats, and they're they're able to survive, and and not just survive, but but even thrive with the companionship and stuff of each other, and their talents and stuff pooled as a result. So it's pretty cool. Um, would the book reviewer recommend this book? Yes, entirely yes. But, um, as the Cartoon Truth has said, um, read these books in order so that you don't get confused. Um, because that is what I encountered in the original Warrior Cat series and for this series as well. Because then you can track what's happened, what's about to happen, who is alive at the time, because yes, boys and girls, cats die and live just like humans do. So, um, anyway, um, this is a great book. I'm going to be doing, um, I think it's a six book series again, so I will be reading the fourth and the fifth book series, um, hopefully this week. Um, Thanks for watching, you guys. Thanks for subscribing. Keep reading. 
don't stop believing, and we will see you again. Hopefully later today or tomorrow. Bye!